Hey everybody, it's Robin at Robin's Realm Readings. Hi. I am performing a hand fasting in the morning for some dear friends and subscribers of my channel. You know what I thought I would do is just share some of my good news with you guys. And I have a treat for you tonight over for the weekend, right? Let me do this. I always do that. I just got this from my youngest son. I'm going to be a grandmother again. His expected birth date is June 6th. That would make him a Gemini. Thank you very much. And a little boy. I'm so excited. He's, uh, well, from as far as my, I'm concerned, he's probably the only Gemini. That's going to be amazing for me. Oh, my God. You know, my south, my south node is Gemini. I came in from a Gemini experience. Uh, and my north node is uh, Sagittarius. So there's a whole, awful lot to be known about that. But let's not talk about that too much. I want to just give you a little quick reading for the weekend. Okay, guys? Um, welcome to my channel if you're new. And if you're coming back, I love you guys. I'm using the Good Tarot. These are a trip. But let's just do them anyway. I'm going to pull three cards. Romance Angel card. I don't know if it will apply to you. I hope that it does. I never have a problem with cross watchers. I do have a problem with trolls. Love you guys. Thank you for supporting me. Um, if you'd like to make donations to my channel or to request, you can request a reading at Robin's Realm Readings at gmail.com. That will be in the box. Also, um, if you just want to make a donation to help support the channel so I can keep um, bringing you interesting readings and channelings and spiritual knowledge and experiences and Robin's Realm Joy. Um, Incidentally, I'm performing a hand fasting in the morning. So my girlfriend, Dania, made me kissing swans on my hands. And Hannah, is that beautiful, you guys? Look, voila. So here we go. I thought I'd share my joy with you. That hand fasting is at the crack of dawn in the morning. Here we go for the lovers. <clears throat> Let's see what the spirit has to say for the lovers. It's a general reading. I hope it makes you happy. Romance Angels, Holy Spirit, Energy of the Divine. Help me to read this for my lovely friends. I have a treat for you. On my website, robinsrealmreadings.com, I wrote last year a story called The Fool's Journey through the Major Arcana. And I'm going to play it for you tonight. One card at a time. I'm going to read it verbatim off my website. So this ought to be a lot of fun. Please leave me comments. Be sure to hit the like button, you guys. And also, give me, you know, feedback's really cool. I love talking to you guys. Romance Angels. Forgiving and learning. This is a weekend. We're going through changes. Apparently. As you release... Release and set free the energy cords that hold you to the past. Release guilt trips. Release fears. Because that's actually false evidence appearing real. F-E-A-R. Snap. It is part of the matrix. It's part of the mental training on the planet to keep you unhappy. If you can find a way to be happy, it starts in your mind and your heart. You work them together. we like temperance. This reminds me how like it would go with temperance card. Yeah, you know what? You know, think from the higher mind and um, release this stuff. If a relationship is just over and over and over, just let them go with love. I heard someone say in my Al-Anon group, 12-step um, program, because I was married to an alcoholic. So what happened to me was I learned how to forgive him and me. And you don't know, man. You're like, hands off. Talk to the hand. We're not dealing with that anymore. You will heal. You will release yourself of old patterns that suffocate and demoralize you. It is your job to fill yourself with light and remember who you are. Be strong on this planet. Remember who you are. Bless you all. Your experience more in your present moment. 
and you let go. That's the love general card. Now let's see what the the good tarot wants to share with you guys. Okay, let's see. What do you want to tell us? What about love this weekend, tarot? General energy for everybody, please. Okay, so some of you are stuck. Some of you are stuck. Pay attention to your mind. Pay attention to your mind. This is the Five of Swords, and this is like huge conflict of interest. It's like someone starts a political conversation in line somewhere, and you've been thinking about something that's irking you, and you jump in on it. Next thing you know, there's just no end to this, and it creates this friction in the air. This is also keeping yourself in a state of bondage to some thought pattern that doesn't serve you. It's a number five, which means change. You have to change your mind. You know, the six of, six of swords, this is a five of swords. Mental stress, competition, something, you know. Wow, maybe it has to do with this forgiving and learning, you guys. What do you think? What else is showing up, spirit? Let's talk about love, though, please. Is this a conflict in love? You guys battling? Are you fighting? Are you worried? Mm. Soothe your hearts, my darlings. Don't let yourself get caught up in, in things you know. It gets, it gets cyclical arguments, cyclical competitions, unless they're healthy. And obviously, forgiving and learning is healthy. Healthy. Staying in conflict is not, if you have a choice. And, yeah. Be like a Zen master. I'm going to have to bring an Ascended Master card with this reading, I think. You, you might need some guidance, you guys. The Four of Wands, okay. Uh, uh, this is the Marriage Commitment Celebration card. Oh, my God, I just got this story in my mind. The Spirit just told me something. Somebody's getting married, or they're going to be getting married, all right? And... Even though this is Aries, Leo, Sag energy, and this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that doesn't matter. This is just simply energy. You know what I see? I see someone planning a wedding, and they're conflicted about the invitations and who to invite. They're conflicted. And they know that if, if there's family conflict, they've got to forgive. They've got to request a meeting. And throw arms around people and forgive them. So you may have a beautiful wedding day. Oh, oh, may you have your beautiful wedding day. But you remember all good things are created. And they are self-created. We create it. Wow. Look at this, the Ace of Cups. Yes, it's a happy outcome for quite a few of you. You have discovered the pearl of great price, something valuable to your soul, something fulfilling, a, a cherishment in your soul that makes you feel mystical and, and magical and filled with uh, joy. That is what spirit wants for you. Wow. All right, just one more card. One more card. Show us what is um, an influence on this. Show us an influence on this, this situation here and see if it changes the story any as well. Let's see what we can get from it. One moment. Oh, Seven of Swords. Oh, wow. Well, that did change the story quite a bit, didn't it? You know why? Because it applies to this level. I'm taking this off. These are two different storylines for somebody. I was only going to pull three cards, but I'm deciding to go a little farther, you guys. Because I love you very much. I want you to be happy. And I want to stay in touch with you, okay? Uh, and Robin's Realm is taking readings again for 3333. So if you want a nice reading, contact me in my email. Here we got Seven of Swords. So what do we have? We have somebody going about something the wrong way. 
they're trying to get away with not telling you everything or setting you up for something and you kind of automatically know it. Five of Swords, you automatically know it. It gives you conflict of interest. This person tends to be someone who manipulates, possibly steals, possibly lies. Hmm. They don't have your best interest in mind. That's the reason for this huge card right here. Oh, my loves. All right. Let me use these. Vice versa to clarify something. Clarify for me. Give me a understanding on what this top storyline is for my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button, the like button. And if you want to, you may share my videos. You may, you may, absolutely may share them. Um, like I said, I do not do trolls. I'll kick your butt, period. All right, my loves. We are about love. We're about raising vibration. We're about connecting. That's what we're doing right now. It's one conversation at a time wakes us up inside. Clarify for me. This five of air and seven of air, what is the big issue? What is this person doing? Breaking up. They're lying. Somebody's getting a breakup. And my dears, if I did, couldn't tell you that, I would tell you that. I, I don't want to tell you those things. But I have to tell you, this is the Ten of Coins in its full manifestation, a marriage, happy family. Um, everybody's happy. Everybody's getting along. They're abundant in every way possible. This is not. These are people that are counseling, and somebody's not telling the whole truth, and the other person's desperately concerned. That's what this storyline is. If that applies to you and you'd like a reading, please check in. I will look. If you need justice... It will show up. This storyline is beautiful. Now, that's somebody else. I wish you love, all of you actually. Okay, Romance Angels, talk to me about this wedding and this Ace of Cups very soon. It's, a, it's in the planning. Clearly decide what you want so that it will come to you now. And as I say in all of my readings, or most of them, don't ever tell the universe out loud what you don't want. That's you keep to yourself. You write it down. You know, write it down. Burn it, burn it in a fireplace in ceremony or something. I don't ever want someone who lies to me again. I don't ever want, you know, that kind of stuff. Write that all down. And burn it through a ceremony. Right? Put a drop of cinnamon oil on it and throw it in the fire and say, bye. You people here, this reading here, oh my God. Oh my God. Somebody's in love big time or about to plan a wedding. Somebody says, you know what? Look, this is coming up. So whoever's embodying this beautiful energy, you're freaking me out. And you're being told that you need to let your friends help you because you might be overwhelmed. Maybe you do need your friends, my beloveds. Show me the outcome of this weekend. For both stories, storylines. What can they what can be done about this? Again. If you want a private reading, I'm here, okay? And you can get my email in the box. But the object here is to actually look and see some answers, right? Okay. What is the uh, advice on the top car top pile? Where there has to be forgiving and learning and working with somebody, maybe a divorce, a separation, maybe somebody seeking counsel, maybe you're both going to a therapist and it's not working, but what is the advice? The advice is possibly consider your alternative paths. This is a two of wands. Consider your alternative paths. This is ambition, making a choice on where you need to go. Be decisive. Be clear. Have passion for yourself and your goals in life, your connection with the divine, and your ability to see your future diligently. Um, yeah, it's productive. Moving on. Consider how you're going to move on. You will move on 
much quicker, much better if you learn how to forgive and heal. Letting go techniques for letting go. All right, for those of you in love, Ace of Cups, Four of Wands, asking for help from your friends because you're going to need it because you got a lot on your plate when you fall in love. There's a lot on your plate. And you probably need some support. You probably need someone to help you with your wedding planning or whatever that is. Events start to change when you fall in love. And energies change and people, hmm, you know, you hide away because you've met your love. But the thing is, is that you have to bring your love into public. And you have to um, bring people in with you. Okay. Your advice is to use complete and excelling, intelligent, intellectual knowledge into your situation. Use your logic along with your beautiful divine heart. This is mature. Sit grounded for a while. Do some meditations on your future and your connection with the divine. And feel your very, very soul. What, you know, you might even consider writing what you're feeling and save these beautiful feelings. Even if it's just like prose is, you know, I can't believe that they tie my shoes like they do. I never had anybody do that before. Something really endearing. Write these things down. Save. Keep memories, beautifuls, okay? That is this reading for the weekend. Now I have a special treat for you. Are you ready? I'm going to give you, read you what I wrote on my website which is The Fool's Journey Through the Major Arcana. This was completely written, and um, it was written by me. So I'm going to read it, and I'm going to lay them down as I'm reading them, okay? And I want you to know that I love you, and I'm just here for you. Let's have fun. <clears throat> by Robin. I wrote this in April of 2018. Most of my subscribers are really, really helping me out. I love you guys. All right, <clears throat> here we go. In the beginning, there was zero point energy where anything could happen. We see creation in the journey of the fool. Before time is choice. Foolish and free styling or disciplined and moving forward toward the magician. The number one card. The magician patiently teaches him a trade, teaches him how to manifest and instructs him to go spend time and learn from The High Priestess, the number two card. She teaches him to tap into his deep inner intuition and to learn and understand universal laws and prepare him to serve the Empress. The Empress in her fullest sense is Mother Nature the nurturer of all living things, the creatrix of the universe. This energy is in turn highly protected by the great I am. The emperor is the manifestation of all upright, unwavering authority. He cannot be manipulated or concerned with petty details. So he sets up the Hierophant. <clears throat> Religion and traditional values and structured settings to keep order and definition to the land. If the learned fool follows the guidance available to him, he may find the companion he seeks, his lover. 
He must use all the lessons he has learned so far to choose a mate wisely. Together, they use the chariot as the yin yang. They are the ones pulling the chariot, and yet this is the rider, the intuition, the third party in a relationship. That's why I say the three of pentacles is you, him, and the relationship, or you, the other, and the relationship. So here we have the lovers. Mm -hmm. intuitively guiding their direction in life. They move forward in their journey wherever it takes them. And in time they discover that it takes great strength, determination, and discipline to stay on this journey together. They soon discover that it is healthy also to have their own interests and not smother each other. If difficulties arise, they may separate for a time and hermit in order to reconnect with self and reestablish their identity. It is here where one learns that the wheel of fortune does not show favor in the natural sense. It brings change to all. As this lesson is learned, it can bring one to the realization that hard knocks can also bring about feelings and situations that are not fair. So the fool will seek his justice. Number 11, to bring him back into what he perceives is fair and just treatment. Should this not happen, he might not see his possibilities or be able to do much about this. And he will find himself in the hanged man position in a holding pattern, becoming more and more enlightened waiting things out. Things might stay the same for a while until something crucial happens, either by choice or not. He is apprehended by incredible transformation in the face of death. The loss of someone, something, or better yet, an old belief or a thought pattern. This event, in turn, requires incredible self-awareness, and he soon realizes it's mandatory to have temperance. Whoops, fingers are sticky. To have temperance, to understand temperance. If he does not discipline his anger, passions, or desires, he could be met with the devil, <clears throat> who, re who presents him with some kind of an offer he cannot refuse. But the offer naturally is bogus, and it causes a breakdown, as lightning, representative of universal cause and effect has struck the tower because of it. Pride comes before a fall. There is a dove at the bottom of this tower. This dove is grace. If you're not too proud, you won't have that far to fall. They say if you're on your knees, you won't have that far to fall. Hmm. This is a fortress that's struck by sudden change or disaster as if by lightning. This is too much for the fool's soul. He breaks down. He admits his humanity. And he cries out to the universe for help. Where he is heard, 
by many benevolent beings. And blessed by spiritual guides, soul being refreshed, balanced, things evening out. He restores his hope. It shines on him and in him, lifting his countenance where he feels revived from his disaster and misunderstandings. He enters a phase of disbelief and mirror-like illusions by the light of the moon. As he strives to see clearer, once again, he recalls how he started and is suddenly aware and awakened and has been met I wonder if I can get all these on here. Let me pull this back a minute. It's cray cray. My table's not. <laughs> Hold on, let me pull these back. Almost done. Isn't this a cool? Isn't this cool? I just put this together like bam, 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 bam. I tried to do it online before, but I wasn't very good at it. I'm not. I'm very outspoken, but I'm not happy to be, you know, in everybody's face. But I just love you guys. Here we go. Move my beautiful magic wand. My magic chakra wand. Okay. He strives to see clearer. I have said this, but I will repeat it. Once again, he recalls how he started and is suddenly aware He's then blessed with clear sight and bright favor by the sun. Then he realizes that he is spiritually aware and awakened and has been met at this juncture, staying in this place long enough, confessing, releasing, Surrendering, healing, self-loving, loving those who don't love you, um, making wise choices, having temperance, having spiritual knowledge, having gone through changes, having been in love, having learned how to be, how to move forward and trust the universe for your survival, how to go through change, how to have a house burn down and get your hope back. This is the fool's journey. Disillusionment. Fantasy comes along and he says, wow, I'm waking up. I'm waking up and I'm going to stay there a while. I'm going to stay here a while. I'm going to refresh my soul and revive my soul. I'm going to change the way I think. I'm going to be obedient. I'm going to have revival. Have revival. Judgment comes and says, now, here's your brand new start. Now, what are you going to do with it? You've been through hell. You've been through a lot. You're amazingly bright. Look at all the gold in this card. Look at this is the judgment call of the archangel. That's friggin' amazing. Revival of the soul. And it has nothing to do with being re revival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest. All right. He says, um, the personal day of atonement. He now understands the world. He also knows it wants, the world wants him to know that life is cyclical and these same endings are in fact new beginnings. And this happens to all men. That is my story, beloveds. The fool has, represents all of us at some time in our life. The wise know to seek counsel. They know to trust their intuition. They know to temper their passions because there is no man that doesn't fall to some temptation. None on the planet that I know of. If you do, well, then you must be a man god or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, I want to tell you I love you guys. Have a great weekend. Give me some feedback. 
Let me know you're alive and well. You know, if you love me, show me. Thank you. From Robin's Realm. And very soon, you can, you can go access my website, Robin's Realm Readings, one word, dot com. I can put it in the box, too. Love you guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.